Greetings and salutations. Visigoth here, and it's 1.40 a.m. in Florida. I happen to feel like doing a quest review. <laughs> Today's quest is going to be Mob for a Day. It's by Chibi. That's how you say it. Uh, here's the short code. And um, it, it actually took me a minute to figure out uh, after reading the the quest description and then reading some reviews. Um, the way the title for this quest is written made me think it was um, like an acronym. Like members of Bifrost or I don't know, something like that. I would suggest uh, since it's it's supposed to be like mob in the sense of like you're the bad guy, I would just make it like M O lowercase B or even call it encounter for a day. But you know, mob mob works, it's probably gonna make sense to more uh, MMO gamers than encounters will. But uh, I, I would definitely lowercase the B. The little quest overview is very short, and it kind of threw me the format it was set up in, but it's, uh... The NPCs are shorthanded and request the aid of player characters to fill in as encounters for would-be heroes. That's really cute. The concept of this quest is, uh... It seems pretty fun and, and should be entertaining, hopefully. Uh... There's really no need to put the length. I mean, I can look right here and it says average duration 18 minutes. The game will automatically tell me, so I mean, that kind of gives me an idea, you know. Sometimes less, sometimes more, but this is the average. Um, level 1 to 60. Well, I mean, you know, you don't really need to add the 1 to 60 level either because it's like all content scales to you. Unless you're trying to imply that uh, you've balanced the content so that it works well for level 1 or level 60. Which is unlikely, <laughs> based on how the uh, the actual foundry works. It seems like the only way that you can actually balance combat so that it's the same difficulty for a level 1 player as it is for a level 60 player is if you have like difficulty choices. Um, combat. Difficult solo. Best with a friend. Oh great, it's another one of these. I am a solo player. Hopefully this isn't so difficult that I can't play it. Otherwise... I just won't be able to complete it. <laughs> Alright, tags, dialogue, yellow text, we'll skip story. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know, I think that this this little part right here is a little awkward. Its format is a little kind of jumbled, not super clear. I would actually, I mean, you know, this is just kind of personal preference at this point. Um, I always like the story at the very first Smart thing you see, and then underneath that, any like notes or you know comments by the uh, dungeon master. All right, let's accept this. I already have the quest. Okay, <laughs> see, I'm just so excited to get started. Wait, I think it said eligible for the daily. Yes, it is. Sweet. It's always a blast to. Uh, actually get a chance to review quests that are already eligible for daily that way I can actually uh, get some extra astral diamonds out of it <laughs> I swear once you you know it when you first start playing Neverwinter and for a good while you know a lot of the mechanics aren't really a hassle like getting astral diamonds it's not super hard and getting gold isn't super hard and you know the things that you're trying to do aren't aren't really that much of a pain in the butt, but I tell you what, as soon as you hit uh, max level and you're trying to basically like mini-max your, your character, it starts becoming a bitch. <laughs> I mean, like, it is a real fucking pain in the ass. Like, trying to get enough Astral Diamonds to buy any of the upper level things that you want, and like, oh my god, trying to do higher level uh, crafting, it's just like, it literally gets to the point where it's it's a bit obnoxious, which is a shame. Hopefully some of that will kind of be worked out uh, in upcoming patches. <sighs> it's kind of burning me out a little bit. All right, seek out Clara in Time War Street of Protector's Enclave. Hmm. If you're gonna say, I mean, this is just you know like me critiquing the dialogue, but um, if you're gonna say it like in Time War Street. Well, she's in a building, so you can name the building and then say, like, Seek out Clara on Time War Street. 
in the little shop or something like that. But uh, otherwise, I'd, I'd get rid of the inn and just say, seek out Clara on Timor Street. Because I don't know. I, don't, I, I kind of take issue with the inn. Because she's not really in the street. She's actually in this building, apparently. Alright. Enter. Oh fuck, I should have read that. <sighs> I'm actually doing this to kind of take a break and just have some fun and play some content, but uh, I'm, like I said, I am getting a bit burnout on uh, Neverwinter as a whole, so trying to find things that uh, are enjoyable is starting to get to me. Luckily, there's the Foundry content. <laughs> Honestly, if it wasn't for the community of authors in the Foundry, and also the content to be able to play it, I probably would have quit playing Neverwinter by now. Speak with Clara, the receptionist. Okay. I like this setup. This is cool. Oh, that's a serious shield. <laughs> you know, this is... This is a bit bland. I'd like to see some more things like hanging on the walls. I mean, like, I like the layout that's on the floor, but I think, uh, I think, like, a fireplace to put the fire in so it's not just, like, a campfire sitting in the middle of the room. I mean, honestly, how often do you see a campfire, or even, you know, if you want to call this a pyre, whatever you want to call this, just sitting in the middle of a, of a building? <laughs> it's, it's not really common. Um, but other than that, I mean, I like this little layout, you know, the actual, like, position of where everything is. This is a neat little portal. Like, if you're gonna have just an uh, an open portal, this is kind of a cool way to do it. It makes it seem more special. Like, you know, maybe the uh, the actual cubes and stuff are the causing the portal, which I like. It's a good way to build it with the stairs too. I kind of like that. But I, I really think that the walls just just need like tapestries or paintings or something to kind of spruce it up. And I don't know, maybe another, maybe a few more rugs like here and and here. You know, just just look at the uh, interior decoration stuff. This just it just needs a little bit more. It's a bit sparse. Same thing within here. Like there's absolutely nothing in here. It's very sparse. I'd like to see like some bookshelves or something. Yeah, you know I mean, I could literally sit here and be like thousands of ideas, but without kind of knowing what the player or the author wants the. Uh, the like look to be it's kind of hard to give specific details my best uh not opinion but uh suggestion i can give is when you're making a map think about the uh, atmosphere that you're trying to set up like the map should tell its own story so the way i would look at it is like uh, okay this is a building what purpose does this building serve and then like just as an example if you were to say the purpose this building serves is it's the behind the sets, you know, like a, like Disney World, you know, like it's behind the scenes. Well, then put like props in here, like you know, put in things that would be like used in the set, and the set being Neverwinter, the game. I mean, that would totally work, you know, and also have like a little break area for like uh, the NPCs, you know, quotes, <laughs> like and stuff like that. Like fill out, flush out your idea of what this area is supposed to be. To really add to the atmosphere. All right, so Clara, and I'd like to see. I mean, this this works, but I would I would like to see a little more customization. Like this is just one of the uh, default Harpers. I think of the Harper Companion. Responding to the help wanted request. This is a very interesting format. I thought you said yellow text will skip the quest. So that doesn't make any sense with your format. Like if if it says right here dialogue, yellow text will skip story. Then why is yellow text being used as like a quest heading? I don't understand that. And then here's the OOC. Kira shuffles papers and repeatedly checks her planner as she interviews you. That works. You know, I mean, that's out of character descriptive. Welcome to the NPC lounge. May I help you? 
I'm here about the help wanted request. I guess it works. Ah, yes. This is a little embarrassing, but with all the new found requests out there, we NPCs are running shorthanded. Are running shorthanded. I don't know. I'm not used to hearing that, but I, you know, I guess it works. I like this. This is a cute little intro for the story. Would you be willing to pose as a series of encounters for our heroes? <laughs> the, the premise for this story is uh, is very imaginative and, and lighthearted. I like it a lot. Sounds like fun. I've always wondered how NPCs view the encounters. Okay, wait a second. Hmm. This is throwing me off. Uh, the way this is worded doesn't really make sense. Okay, it's like NPCs are non-player characters, so we, non-player characters, are running shorthanded. That makes sense. My response sounds like fun. I've always wondered how NPCs, non-player characters, view the encounters. That's kind of like, wait, do you mean like... I've always wondered how the NPCs uh, feel like during the encounter, like playing the encounters, like, you know, like I've always wondered how the NPCs view themselves while they're encounters, or are you trying to imply that non-player characters, what they think of encounters, like encounters are, th I don't know, you're setting it up like, like there's like three idioms here, me the player playing the content, the NPCs, the non-player characters, and then encounters as a third entity. So it's kind of like, in this response, it makes it seem like I, the player, am saying, I wonder how the second group, the NPCs, view the third group, encounters. So that doesn't really make sense. Because in a sense, uh, NPCs and encounters are kind of the same thing. Like, encounters are formed of NPCs. So I, I don't know, I would reword that. Uh, this is a bit too immersion breaking for me. Sorry, but I must decline. <laughs> eh, you know, it is kind of immersion breaking, but it's done in a way that's that's actually not very immersion breaking. It's actually done in a way that's that's very RP, which I like. <laughs> so let's let's go with the story and see what it says. Excellent. Since this is your first time as an encounter, let's start you on something easy. You are to play the role of a scout who has just made camp by a beautiful lake. You are, of course, in enemy territory, and will likely be attacked soon by a hero on quest. Uh, on quest from... Maybe put in an A. By a hero on a quest from the opposite faction. I don't know, I put an and there. From an opposite faction instead of the, the opposite faction. But I don't know, I mean, you know, it's kind of nitpicky. Like, there's not just two factions. I mean, unless you're viewing it as uh, players, heroes are one faction, and encounters are all grouped together in another faction. Where I, I don't usually tend to view it that way. I tend to view it as, like, players are kind of like a faction, and then there are each lore-based, you know, group, you know, like goblins and orcs and, you know, all of them. They're each individual, like, factions. But, you know, that's just, that's me. I'm sure I can handle that. How will I get to this campsite? At the far corner of this lounge is a teleporter. I'll set your destination, and you can use it to get to your scenario. I like this. This is, this is good. You know what? I've changed my mind about falling in for today. About filling in for today. Now let's go with the quest. Although, like, that said it skipped it again. Like, so that was in yellow. Wouldn't that cancel the quest? It's, I mean, how's it going to skip it? Like, because that response, you know, like, uh, wait a second, let me go back. I'm kind of curious. This format, I think, isn't very uh, well set up. All right, so this supposedly should skip it. All right, that did skip it. Speak with Clara, the receptionist. Yeah, see, that didn't skip it. I, like, when I think of skipping it, I don't mean quit the dialogue. I mean, it, it should skip the dialogue and continue the quest not have me speak to Clara. It should be like, okay, go through the portal. That would be skipping the dialogue. Yeah, see, that's just a 
a dead end. <laughs> That's all that does is make me have to go through that again. I would get rid of those. I think those are terrible. Have fun. Okay, I'll continue. Like I thought it was going to be a, like a way to socket it in for players that didn't want to read the dialogue to uh, to go through the quest. What is this fucking sparkly thing? Hmm. I guess I'll find out later. All right. Let's go through the teleporter to scout the campsite. All right. Well, so far, this is a neat concept. I like the the idea of the quest. It's fun. I'm not one for like, oh, how would you say it? Not lore, but uh, I don't really give a shit if something goes against canon. For me, it's more of like, is it done in a way that's fun? You know, like, is it immersive in the sense that like, I feel like I am my character and I am performing actions? Well, this makes me feel like that. <laughs> it makes me feel like the NPCs are like, hey. You know, this is the background setting of what's going on, which I like. All right, firewood. Press B to set up your camp. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm not sure why I would use firewood to set up my camp. I don't quite know. unless you're trying to say like chop wood for your fire. All right, fire pit. Press B to set up your camp. Okay, same response. <laughs> Okay, tend to your candle. Okay, I get what the, the author's doing. Yeah, this is this is quaint. I like this. This is really fun. Barricade kit. <laughs> press B to. S okay, I would like to get rid of the like generic press B to set up your camp and actually have ones that are like specific to what I'm doing. That'd be much more fun. Let's set up a barricade though. Cool. That's really cool. And I love it. <laughs> Randomly generated name. Heroes questing for scouts. Oh, I love that. Oh, this is fucking funny. Heroes questing for scouts. Elite speak name. Oh god. <laughs> Even the the like uh, criticism on how players pick their names is funny. <laughs> oh, this is good. Uh, oh, this is really good. <laughs> Scout banner. Press B to set up your can. Okay, you say again. I like the naming, Scout Banner. It's good. It's uh, descriptive and it fits what the item is. But I'd like the to set up your camp be replaced with like whatever the action is that I'm actually going to perform. So like build the barricade, chop firewood. I don't know what the fuck this one did. It didn't look like it did anything. And enter the tent to teleport back to the NPC lounge. Oh, I wanted to kill more adventurers. Damn it! <laughs> I am an epic godly character. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll just continue on. That's pretty short. <laughs> Those poor players. They're probably going to complain now that the game's broken because they can't uh, get past the little dwarf. And the map, you know, seems it worked for what it was. It doesn't really need to be super cluttered when it's outside like that. <laughs> cool, Here's, here must be an encounter taking a break. Yep, waiting over. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Although it looks kind of weird, like reaching into and leaning through the shield. I'd move him back or change his uh, animation. But I like the concept. I like it. Alright, reporting in. So, Gothry, how was your first time as an encounter mission? It's a little awkward. <laughs> it, it, this part right here, where it's like as an encounter mission, I don't know. I would rather it be like, uh, "How was your first time as an encounter, <laughs> or as a quest mission?" You know, something like that. But encounter mission just doesn't seem like it goes together. Great, I had no trouble defending my camp. <laughs> Listens intently to, <laughs> to your tale. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh my. Well, I guess that was to be expected. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as pushover. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's like a lot of no's. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I merely forgot that players tend to be more powerful than the average NPC. Yeah, I like this comment. This is good. 
I'll try to remember that for future encounter jobs. In the meantime, I have another easy mission. I'm listening. You are a skilled weaponsmith of the town box. <laughs> you also happen to be the quest turn-in for the heroes passing through your little town. Your job is to make weapons and pass out experience points to the heroes that turn in their quests. That certainly sounds easy. This doesn't appeal to me anymore, sorry. Yeah, see this? I'd get rid of these. Like, I've already accepted the quest. If I didn't want to play the quest, I could just click done and then click abandon quest. But I don't know. These, I don't like these. That certainly sounds easy. A word of warning. Sometimes these heroes can be prickly about the amount of experience granted to them. But fear not. <laughs> That's why there are city guards. This should be fun. Yeah, this should be fun. So far I'm liking this. This is cool. Press B to enter your shop. Okay. I think the foundation for this quest is like super solid. So far the writing's, you know, reasonably good. The uh, the only thing that's really kind of lacking is just the uh, detail and I don't know, I don't like really calling it decoration, but basically uh, you know like the setup for the maps. Although this one doesn't look too bad. Whoa, what's up with that? The blue screen. What the hell? Oh man, that makes my eyes bleed. I hear that weaponsmith has unparalleled skill. <laughs> Seriously, what is up with the blue screen, man? Is it trying to like imply that that it's literally like a blue screen, like like a green screen, you know, from uh, like video editing and such? Oh man, that makes my eyes bleed. I wonder what this is. This Easter egg looks more like a scroll. Perhaps there will be more of this of these scattered about in the upcoming scenarios. Okay. There appears to be a poem written upon this parchment. Patrol guards, patrol guards, why did you forget how to path? <laughs> you worked so well on the editor, but whence published are quite lax. <laughs> I wish the patrols would travel up and down the street as once they did in the editor. It was quite neat. <laughs> oh, this is so like. I, I like this. This is this is funny. This is very cute. Obviously, the narrator was quite vexed with how the patrol path didn't quite transfer according to plan in this scenario. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's good. It's, oh man, I can totally identify with it. This is like the perfect quest for uh, authors. <laughs> like, like screw regular gamers. This is totally designed for like authors of Foundry content. <laughs> I love it. Okay, gather your materials. All right, well, I want to talk to everybody first. I want to explore a little bit more. Yeah, see, this is much better. Like, I mean, even though this is like a default, uh, you know, shop, it's still it's detailed enough that it adds to the area. You don't have to, like, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think that the, the author has to make, like, all of the little details and hand place everything. You know, when you've got something that looks good, like this does, dude, just socket it in and it looks good. That's all there really needs to be. Ah, oh, that blue screen is killing me, though. Alright, what is he, what the fuck is he saying? Pay attention. Okay, Alchemical Vendor. Good name. Oils for crafting and potions for adventuring. All right here. I don't know. I don't like the all right here. I'd be like, all here, available, you know, something like that. But, you know, that's just me being picky. All right. Let's talk to the alchemical vendor. The alchemical vendor looks confused that you are addressing him, then whispers under his breath, aren't you supposed to be... Manning the weapon shop? <laughs> this is good. Uh, yeah, I was just exploring the area. I'm curious, what is that blue barrier over there? Oh, hey, look. You're new to this job, aren't you? Better ask Clara when you get back to the lounge. I will, thanks. Just make sure you back... Just make sure you're back at your post by the time a hero shows up. They get finicky when we're not there. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Sure thing. Thanks for the tip. Oh my god, I want to pick the other option to see what it says. Okay, yeah, it just goes back to the end. Oh man, this is fucking funny. 
Oh, this brightens my spirits. <laughs> or actually, I should say this uh, raises my spirits or brightens my day. Okay, so where the fuck is my objective? Man, I, you see, this looks good. I like this. This is a good use of uh, assets. You know, it, it gives me the feeling of, like, a weapon shop. I mean, I like it. I think that the, uh, the NPC lounge or whatever it's called needs some work. All right, crystal ore. Press B to gather. Shit, I didn't read it. <laughs> Wooden shafts. Press B to gather items. Okay. Metal ore. Press B to gather items. You see, I'm getting kind of fed up with the uh, the default press B to gather items, press B to set up your camp. I'd like it a little more customized. To make a weapon. I see like that. I'm actually going to make a weapon, so I like it to be descriptive. Press B to make a weapon. Yeah, good job. <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> I love stuff like this. Like, I know some people would be like, oh, this is tedious and stupid, but no, I think it's fucking awesome. Screw those people. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Ice Spire Shrenum Fireball. Okay, I have no clue what the fuck that means. Or what that is. Shrenum? Fireball? No, I don't know. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> okay, that seems off. I would have thought I would have uh, hammered on this and, like, I don't know, kneeled down to interact with this. Alright. Display your weapons. Okay. Oh, please let there be weapons. Oh, there is an axe! That's awesome! <laughs> I love it. Belligerent hero. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Oh, wait, what the fuck did the interact say? Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, to talk to... Okay, because it's default. <laughs> oh, wait, what's the objective? Let's re <laughs> I'm getting so caught up in this. Your first customer. Oh, that's good. All right, oh, oh, can I interact with him from back here behind? Oh, I can. What do you need, you fucking hero? This hero is clicking on you. <laughs> that is your cue to say something. <laughs> Quit poking me, you bastard. Uh, hell, and well met. I am a weapons... Yes, yes, yes. You are the famed Gothry weaponsmith extraordinaire. I know. I've done this quest a bunch of times already. Just hand me my reward. <laughs> That's a bit rude, don't you think? I am sorry, but you do not have the faction to deal with me at this time. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Wait, what? When did you get a faction? Oh, that was too easy. You know what? I'm bored with you. Take your reward and leave my sight. Oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> what is this? I can't wield this weapon. I've wasted so much time on this quest. Maybe I'll get some experience if I kill you. Oh yeah, good luck. You can't usually kill NPCs, but you know. Holy shit. Fucking AoE. Oh, he's a spellcaster. Yeah, <laughs> this is funny. Oh my god. Oh shit, I even forgot to transition to my uh, 360 controller. <laughs> I'm, I'm like being so entertained by this. Oh, uh, block, block. Fuck me. Pick up my controller. Okay, good to go. Get some polish for your new weapon. <laughs> I killed him and took it back. That's funny. Okay. Where would polish be? Oh, he's he's selling polish. All right. On. Metal polish. Press B to pick up the bottle of polish. Yeah, that works. I like it. Very descriptive. I love descriptive things. Another hero with a quest turn in. Oh, great. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's see what are their names? Friend of role player, role playing hero. Oh god, this is great. <laughs> Where is that weaponsmith? I have one final quest to turn in. Oh yeah, this is so fun. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's too far away. I can't interact with him while I'm behind the counter. Oh, my RP just suffered. Damn it. Move him closer. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I gotta jump over the counter. Aw. <laughs> this hero swaggers about as he talks, taking great pleasure in playing the role of a noble hero. <laughs> it's fun, come on. Hello, Guthrie. I have finally returned after a long and heroic journey through vast perils and increasingly difficult encounters. Pray, grant me my boon for such a worthy task. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh. 
I'm not going to be able to like actually narrate this. <laughs> I can't stop like laughing to myself. Uh, okay, calm down. Uh, here is some experience and a randomly generated weapon. Oh, oh no, I'm totally going to go with this. This is awesome. Oh, mighty hero, it is good that you have accomplished so much. I have painstakingly crafted this fine weapon for you, for your use. May it serve you well in the many heroic deeds you shall no doubt perform. Oh, this is excellent. <laughs> I thank you, my good smith, and will put this fine instrument to good use. Oh, this is well, well, yeah. I'm getting caught up in this. Okay. Calm down. This is really well written. I like this a lot. Many thanks to you, hero, and fare thee well. Ooh, sound effects. The hero staggers as he gains a level. Oh, good, good sound effects. That's what it was. He was leveling up. That's awesome. <laughs> Increasing in power. I, I just leveled up. I mean, hark, <laughs> your gracious. <g> <laughs> <coughs> 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 Fuck me, you're gonna kill me. Uh. <clears throat> I had to drink some tea. Oh, this is this is good. I mean, hark! Your gracious gift of experience has awoken within me a strong sense of purpose and power. <laughs> Thank you, Gothry, for this for this will not be soon forgotten. Oh my god, <laughs> this is funny. Grats, or congratulations, or whatever. Yeah. Oh no, give me another RP response. Aww. Aww, that makes me sad. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll take the basic response. Okay, now what do I have to do? Polish your weapons to return to Clara. Wait, what? Hopefully this doesn't teleport me. It does teleport me. I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, look. Oh, wait, no, it's the same thing. Yeah, no, I'd rather have, like, a back door or something. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can't sprint on this guy. Like, fuck me, I don't know, this would be kind of hard, but, like, like here. Be, like, backstage, exit three or something. But that'd probably kill players. They wouldn't be able to find that super easily. But, like, uh... Oh, excuse me. Fucking hiccups. I don't know, like like this door over here. You know, be like, exit, stage left. Don't make me polishing stuff be the teleporter. That's no fun. I mean, I like the action. Like, you know, that's fine to be like, go polish your goods. But then, I don't like it serving the function as the teleporter. I'd rather actually have, like, something more immersive. You know, like if I walk into a portal and the portal teleports me somewhere else, that works. If I walk through like a door to the quote quote backstage, I like that too, that works. Report to Clara, okay. I'm curious, maybe she'll tell me what the uh, the giant blue wall was. Press B to talk to Clara. Ah, you're back! Yeah, I certainly didn't expect to be hand handing out experience points. <laughs> Clara nods Sagely? Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sagely. That is a very interesting way of... I'm not sure if I'd say that's wrong, but it kind of threw me. Call her a nod, sagely. I mean, I definitely get the impression, you know, like, as a sage, you know, uh, one who has, like, higher wisdom or knowledge, that kind of thing, like, as a sage. But that's, I don't know, that's interesting. It isn't as glorious as battling against the heroes, but very necessary, as I'm sure you would agree. Yeah. Of course, I wouldn't be doing as many quests if there wasn't experience to be had. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. I've gotten to the point where I'm max level, so I'm doing a quest just for the fun of it. <laughs> exactly. By the way, I have a more difficult scenario for you, if you're up for it. Fuck yeah, I am. I noticed some bright blue areas in the map. What are they? I don't know what they are. Oh, that's right. As a hero, you never would have encountered those before. The blue areas keep mobs in their respective locations. It wouldn't be fun for the heroes if the encounters weren't where they needed to be. Huh. Okay. I guess that's kind of an interesting way of explaining it. No, I guess it wouldn't. Exactly. 
By the way, I have a more... Although, you know, I mean... Thinking back, from my experience, within a zone... Unless you're trying to say that's what those blue things are, they're zone barriers. But within a zone, a mob will fucking chase you indefinitely. <laughs> they don't they don't like tether, <laughs> from my experience. Alright. You know what? I've changed my mind about filling in for the Get rid of these. I hate these. Really I really hate these. Really hate these. I don't I can't like express that enough. Bring it. Okay then. For this next assignment. You are to patrol a segment of a mine tunnel. You are part of the Brotherhood of Bandits, who have recently taken over the crystal mines of Balor, a newly developed instance. No doubt, there will be heroes eager to explore these mines. Have fun. I will. <laughs> so far, I'm really having a lot of fun. This is a really, really awesome quest. I love this. I don't know, I'd probably give this a four star. Like, I wouldn't give it a 5 because, like I said before, you know, some of the, uh, well, basically the things I'm pointing out, like, uh, the things that I'm not saying are just my opinion, but the things that I, th I mean, it's still my opinion, but I think that they're more than just, like, a personal preference. I think they, like, speak to the quality of the quest. Like, this, this room, you know, this instance right here, you know, this map, I think it's very bland, you know, um, and a few of the interactions I think are very, uh, awkward. You know, like the default, you know, just, hey, press B to interact, press B to interact, press B to interact. You know, it's kind of like, okay, please tell me that I'm going to chop wood. Please tell me that I'm going to set a fire. You know, tell me that I'm going to put up a banner. You know, I'd, I'd like more interesting things like that. And also, um, I wouldn't downrate based on this, but I would definitely love to see this just as a fun thing. Uh, like that last interaction I like, uh the last conversation that I had, I would love an RP response to go with the rest of the RP. That's great. Um, and I think that the whole yellow text thing needs to be revisited. That isn't... It's its not a very... Hmm, what would be a good way to say that? It's not... It, it doesn't really fit with the description of the format that was given in the quest overview. And... Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Cool. Luckily, uh, when I got disconnected, it still allowed me to reconnect to the same map. I like that. I really got to do some re when I take a break. I want to do some research into that. And figure out what the fuck, uh, how you s set up your map request so that you can actually like reconnect and and not lose all of your fucking progress. Uh, I've been noticing this morning. It's now like 2:13 a.m. I've been getting disconnected a few times. So let me go ahead and go into the next area. Press B to enter the tunnel. Oh yeah, but what I was making uh, commenting on before I got disconnected was uh, I really hate the dead end dialogue options. They're just frivolous. Like it's it's I don't know. It's not adding anything to the quest in my opinion. It's actually taking away from it. All right, patrol the mine tunnel. A <laughs> good another explanation of the blue. I like it. So that is basically it's almost like a zone border. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. I'm patrolling. Patrol the mine tunnel. You know, it's a shame that you... Wait, seriously, that was it? Oh, okay. It's really a shame that you can't, like, give the uh, player a costume. That'd be fucking awesome. I'd love to be dressed up as, like, a little ogre right now. Stop the heroes. You're gonna fucking die! Off-spec hero. Heroes in a pick... Up group. Oh god, that's funny. Heroes in a pickup group. Role player hero. Off spec hero. What is this? Min maxer. Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> oh my god, okay, okay, okay. I want to see what the other one is. What's the other one? What's the other one? Experienced hero. Oh, good job. That's why this one's staying in the back and doing what they're supposed to. I like it. <laughs> this is some funny shit, man. This is some really funny shit. Uh, I love the costumes too. Those are really well done. Like I, I feel bad. I can't. Well, I don't feel bad, but I'm kind of annoyed. I'd love to get a good close-up look at them, but uh, you know, during combat, I don't want to die. Which, <laughs> I can honestly say this is one of the first quests that uh, I've been this distracted during combat. <laughs> it's like I want to interact with things and look at them. And <laughs> oh, this is good. I'm loving this. God damn it, I might actually die. Fuck me. Okay, 
Pay attention. Stop being uh, enthralled by the awesomeness. Oh, he's an ogre. Oh, I like that. See, that's good because you know that's why he does so much damage. I really like that. Make the dwarf a badass. <laughs> oh, cool. I guess you can kind of say he was like a great weapon fighter. Because, I mean, although I think he had heavy armor on. Because you got to remember, he's got a two handed weapon, a single two handed weapon. And, uh, you know, the guardian fighter, which is what I'm playing right now, can only use the shield and the axe, or shield and a one handed weapon. Mine the crystals to return to Clara. Oh, yeah, see, I would like, like, exits, like, you know, exit stage left, exit stage right, you know, exit 101, you know, back door, I don't know, stuff like that. I don't like having to, like, interact with stuff like this, it's just like a portal. Like, because it's just, it's just, look, I mean, I walk up to crystals, and then I get a black screen, and then I'm back in the, the lounge. It just doesn't flow super well. I'd even prefer a portal to open. You know, and be like, oh, look, okay, it just opened, so now you're going to get teleported. <laughs> but so far, this is written very well. I like it a lot. Clara patiently listens to you. I'm sorry, Guthrie. We're still retuning that instance. This is very useful information, however. Thank you. Clara writes in her notes, I have a different job for you. It requires a bit of acting, though. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Go on. You see again, it's here. It's just. Oh look, it just kicked me out of the, the quest conversation. That's all it did. I mean, <laughs> wait, wait, watch this, watch this. I don't have to click that. I look, look, it does the exact same thing. See, redundant. And it's it's not even like. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really only interested in combat quests. I think I'll pass. You see, it's like. I just I don't like it. I really, really, really don't like it. You are a potion brewer whose daughter has lost her pet. A hero will be along to take up your quest. Your job will be to guide this hero at each progressive step of the quest. Okay, I've seen these NPCs before. They tend to show up at key points of the quest. How will I move around? You will start off in a special room. The pathways to your destination will become available at the proper time. Sounds easy enough. I'll get started then. And this is really just... This is so creative. I mean, like... Like, I mean, in a sense, it's... It's it's not very creative. In the sense that, like, basically the author makes a story that you just play the encounter. You know, so it's kind of like, well, if you've been an author and you've made content, you basically know what the encounter does. But... From that same respect, it's super creative because I mean, like, that's such a fun like uh, critique on you know like the backstory. That's kind of like there was this. Um, I mean, I hate to get off topic, but this is I'm just having so much fun with this quest. There's there's a web comic that I I haven't read in a long time, but I used to love reading called Goblins, and it's literally a comic about Dungeons and Dragons, but it's written from the perspective of the goblins. So, like, you've got, like, heroes coming in and assaulting this goblin village, and the goblins are like, oh, this is bullshit, why are we always getting attacked and killed and they're taking our loot and shit? So they're like, you know what, we're gonna fight back. So the goblins, like, band together as a group, and they go out to, like, assault the heroes and stuff. And it's just, it's really fun to, to see that different perspective. It's just a really entertaining new twist, and I really like it. Like, I really like it. This is, like, very... Uh, I don't know if I'd say artistic, but but in a sense, it is. It's it's very artistic. I like it. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Not really a fan of, of this. It looks out of place. But I'll look around and kind of... Speak with your daughter. Okay. This is a really weird map. Like, I'm not sure what the story is for this map. I mean, like this map does not give me an idea of what the fuck's going on. It looks very weird. Okay, here's an invisible wall. Oh, I guess this is, is implying, like, the paths that are available to me. Okay, I get a kick out of that. Okay, another invisible wall. 
I don't see a daughter though. Maybe she's through there. Or maybe this, oh, oh, maybe this room, I bet you that's what it is. This room is supposed to be like the backstage at like Disney. You know, like this is what's behind the scenes and the players don't get to see this. Okay, I bet you that's what it is. Like maybe this will teleport me to, yes it did. Okay, good job, good job. And yeah, see how there's like a fireplace here and the fire is actually in the fireplace? That's kind of what I want to see. Even though that looks really awkward because it's a gigantic fire for such a small fireplace. Like, I would put, like, a, uh, I've said this before to other people, I would take a wall, like a section of wall, flip it so it's completely fat, the flat, and then Im uh, embed it in the ground so that you see, like, you know, brick wall here. That would help tie in this extra large fireplace. Oh, fluffy! <laughs> That's good. Alright. Let me, uh, invoke my god, Mordane, or Morden. More day. I don't know. I still figure out how to pronounce that. <coughs> oh fuck me! I should have got a much bigger cup of uh, tea. This quest has entertained me so much that uh, I haven't stopped fucking talking. <laughs> other, you know, other than that little critique about the fireplace, this is this is really cool. I like it. This has more like interesting things going on. Although, again, I'd like to see, I don't know, something a little bit more on the walls and, like, maybe an area rug or something. I don't know, just a little bit more detail. Areas like, like, okay, from this perspective, that's totally, like, works. It's totally legit. Add in the little brick wall thing here to tie that in, and that, that looks good. As soon as you turn this way, all of this looks super barren. This doesn't look good. And same thing with, like, here. You know, super barren. It just doesn't, doesn't work. It's like all the detail is basically like right here, which is good. That's good. Just need to fill in these other three segments of the room. Oh, fluffy! <laughs> and where's the uh, where's the entrance? Author's note: Press B to interact. Okay. This scenario is actually a short form of my first quest idea. <laughs> That's funny. Unfortunately. Due to the limitations of the foundry, this quest may never be created. Aww. To the developers out there, please add more animal models and allow <clears throat> resizing of those models. Yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree. Except I wouldn't say um, just more animal models, <clears throat> but more animal NPCs, like animals that actually behave, or encounters. Animals that actually behave as themselves. I would love to see that. <clears throat> and yeah, totally the resizing would be awesome. Giant size, especially. Also, include the ability to customize those, anim those animal features. This would need this. This world needs more rabbits, <laughs> rats, bugs, cows, snakes, and other animals. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. <clears throat> but where's uh, what I was looking for is actually the entrance to this this place. So, like the adventurer, unless that's supposed to be the entrance. No, no see, that's that's to the backstage. So where's the main entrance that the player would come through? There needs to be a door, like, here, or something. Oh, Fluffy! Okay, let's see. Uh, speak with your daughter. I'm a dwarf. How did I... Oh, okay. Oh, that's my daughter. That's kind of weird. <laughs> <clears throat> are those... What, what are those? Are those, like, roaches? I think, oh, I think they are, but I think they're, like... I don't know. That's, that's weird. Your daughter... Stiffles. Stiffles. Yeah, I, I think you mean sniffles. Like S N I F F L E S. Who's the T? Her sobs long enough to answer you. Oh no. Not stiffles. Stifles? Oh, what is that word? Fuck me. I get I get what you're trying to say through the context of the sentence. Basically like she holds back her sobs. She holds back her crying long enough to answer you. I get that. It's just this threw me off the way this word. I'm not sure what it is. It's Fluffy. He he ran into the cave. I called and called, but he wouldn't come back. Continue. <clears throat> Our hero is here to help. Okay. Where's the hero? Questing hero. Yes, yeah, see, the hero just appeared, and there's no doorway. If this was a cryptic map for an actual cryptic quest, the cryptic wouldn't do that. They wouldn't just have a hero appear. They'd have a hero come through a door. So where's the door? 
that needs to be added. Okay, let's talk to the questing hero. Uh, she's a scary, scary chick. <laughs> Hello, Gothry. I am here about your quest. Oh, thank you. It seems that my daughter's beloved Fluffy has gotten lost in the caves. Go on ahead, and I will meet you inside. The hero appears lost. Sigh. What is it? How will I find these caves? Ah, I see. There is a dirt path leading directly to the caves through the farmland. You're kidding, right? Just follow the sparkly trail to the next quest point like everyone else. No, fuck that. Okay, then. I'm on my way. See you inside the caves. And she just dis disappears. Yeah, see, damn it. No. <laughs> put a door here. <laughs> have the player, like... I mean, it doesn't even have to be here. Like, put a door over there. Put a door... I don't know. I'd, I'd say either this side or this side. And then have, like, the player come in or something. And then, like, when the player is done talking, have them walk off and exit the door. Basically, the way that um I've done this is... uh. You can't have the NPC disappear like when they complete their patrol, but what you can do is have, like, say that the NPC appears through this door, right? And walks over here, and then walks this way, so it actually turns the NPC to face you like that. Then you interact with this NPC, so I'd be standing, like, right here. Then you have that NPC walk off over there. Well, literally, literally, like right here, you can put a waypoint and have it be just big enough so that it covers just this area, circular, circularly, radius, whatever. This is basically the radius, just right here. And have it be that that waypoint causes the NPC to disappear. So it'll look like the NPC followed its path from here, walked back out the entrance it came in, and then basically whenever you hit that waypoint, it'll disappear. So the NPC could disappear here, or it could have made it here and then stopped, and is waiting. But eventually it'll disappear, and it'll just, I don't know, it'll add to it. Alright, meet the questing hero inside the caves. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, I like that. A door transition, or teleporter, instead of just, like, interact with the crystals. It makes me feel like I actually am, like, walking behind the stage, you know, walking behind the scenes. <laughs> And I like these little shortcuts, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you know, for me, as the NPC, or as the uh, the encounter, the NPC encounter, I just walk through that door and then walk out here. I love it. <laughs> it's like a great explanation of how they just disappear and reappear ahead of you and stuff. Alright, meet the questing hero inside the caves. Oh, I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> Good. She's already got some NPCs that uh, she's killed. Uh, I like it. This is well done. And I like the blue for the... Oh, that's good. Okay. I think I'm not supposed to follow the quest tracker. I don't think the quest tracker knows what the fuck's going on. <laughs> it's like leading me up there and shit. And like... Yeah, that, I don't think that's right at all. <laughs> oh, my companion died. I've been noticing that recently. Must have been some sort of update. Am I supposed to go through there? No. Why is it leading me up that way? Stupid quest tracker. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I like this. The players come through here and killed all these NPC encounters. But they're just plain dead. I want to be like, poke NPC and have him respond, Hey, fuck off. <laughs> I'm trying not to sneeze here. Or something like that. Ooh, what's the sparkly? These tracks are definitely fluffies, but they grow in size and depth as they progress. Oh. All right, let's do what I'm supposed to be doing, which is interact with the NPC. Or with the actual player. <laughs> this is so weird. What is this? It's like crystal stuff. Huh. <laughs> okay. Meet the questing hero inside the caves. The question hero appears to be recovering from her recent struggles. Hail Guthrie! You just missed the excitement. What happened here? Well, I forgot my way past... Wait, I fought my way past those mutated lizards and discovered the source of their corruption. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm assuming that it was this altar here. Okay. Yep. After defeating this huge corrupted lizard... 
I collapse part of the cave, destroying the altar. Hopefully there won't be any more mutations. That's great, but I sent you to find Fluffy. Well, it's a side quest. The question hero suddenly looks sad. I actually found this broken collar over there by the ramp. The tag says Fluffy on it. There are some tracks that start off looking like dog prints, but appear to change as they continue on up the pathway. I see, considering that these lizards were mutated by the corruption, I think I can see where this is heading. Fortunately, I am a potion brewer, and I am sure that I can make an antidote using the corruption from these mutated lizards. Huh, this is weird. Using the corruption from these mutated lizards. That doesn't make sense. Like, you could be, like, using the... Using a skin sample from the mutated lizards, or using blood, you know, from the mutated... I don't know, but, like, how... Corruption is a thing that happens. Like, it's not something you can use. It's not an item. Wonderful. Why don't you continue searching while I make the antidote? Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> the questing hero heads up, heads on up the ramp, following the tracks. Continue. Oh, is she gonna walk? Is she gonna walk? Did she? Did, where, where'd she go? She just disappeared. Aw. I would like to have seen uh, her actually like walk off again, like I said before. And then literally, you can have it be that like, um, you know, again, like when I come over here and click on this, she disappears. Or just uh, have it be as soon as I move over here or in any direction, you know, she disappears. All right. Press B to gather and mix the ingredients. What ingredients am I gathering? There's no, like, I'm not gathering corruption. So what, do I, like, take one of his scales or some flesh or some blood or, you know, some other crazy bodily fluid? Make the antidote. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Back in this direction somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to go back up and around. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm going back to my shop. That makes sense. Although it could be a little clearer. Fuck me, where am I supposed to go? Okay, yeah, so, okay. I get through here and that should take me back to the room. And then from there I can go back through the doors to my shop. Yeah, see, make the antidote is too generic. I'd like it to say, like, return to your shop to make the antidote, or something like that. Yeah, okay, cool. Bottle 05, yeah, that needs to be renamed. Press B to gather and mix the ingredients. Okay. What's this? Potion bottle pile 01. You see, I would. I mean, I don't know. Unless you're trying to, like, purposefully do that. But other things weren't named, like, default names. They were actually named well. So I don't think this is purpose. I think this is an accident. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Jungle glowing mushrooms. Large 03. Crisp. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Find the quest hero and Fluffy. Okay, so go back through here. Yeah, see, I'd like this. I'd like it to be like, return to the cave and find the quest hero and Fluffy or something like that. Although, and hero and Fluffy is, is too much. Um, but I'd like it to be a little more descriptive. Hopefully, going through the fucking cave will take me back to where the quest hero is. I'm just assuming here. Did it work? Let's see. Uh, no. She's on another map. How the fuck do I get to there? Hmm. Maybe that black area down there is allow me through. Um... Nope. 
I didn't remember the black, like, crazy mist swirly stuff going on, so I thought maybe it was a, a new addition. Alright. Yep, see, here's a good spot where uh, your quest isn't clear enough for the player to know what to do next. I'm gonna I mean, you know, I'm kind of guessing here, but I'm assuming I missed, you know, a doorway. I could probably have to go to a different doorway. Just probably like this mushroom. But that's not a very good transition. <laughs> like, see, this you can't walk through a mushroom. It's not a doorway. It's an item. That's a door. That's a door. I like that. A portal would be a doorway. A mushroom is not a doorway. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Find the quest hero and Fluffy. Okay. This isn't bad though. I mean, the level, you know, design. It's fun. Although some sound effects would be fun. I just realized there's like nothing. It's completely dead. That's weird. I guess it could be bugged. If if it's not bugged, if you just haven't added any, dude, you should totally add some background audio for the uh, rooms. Like, you know, this would be cool for waterfalls. Look, there's waterfalls. So give this room the background audio of waterfalls. It just seems dead. <laughs> Fluffy. Holy crap! <laughs> Alright, so now for the question here. Ah, Guthrie! You have the antidote! Yeah, and it looks like I arrived just in time. I was able to subdue Fluffy, but you better hurry and administer that antidote. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Alright, Fluffy. Return to the little doggy. And go! Yep. <laughs> Fluffy. Okay, finish the scenario. Well, what do I do to finish the scenario? Fuck me. I thought I just finished everything. I returned to the hero. I found Fluffy. I gave Fluffy the antidote. Oh, here we go, your daughter. Fluffy! Press B to talk to your daughter. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for rescuing Fluffy. It's a very good thing that this questing hero was willing to help us find him. Now don't ever let him play near the caves again. Wait, how did you get down here? You hired this questing hero and made a potion, so I followed you. Duh. Okay. Don't you take that tone with me, young lady. It's a very good thing that this questing hero was willing to help us find him. Now, don't ever let him play near the caves again. Of course, you realize she's not really my daughter, so this is kind of creepy. <laughs> I won't. Good. Then let's go home. Okay. Oh, damn it. See, another transition like this. Pick some mushrooms to go back to Clark. Eh, I don't like it. I don't like the transitions, the ones that I've been pointing out. It like takes away from the coolness of all the other stuff that's going on. Oh look at that. Now there's some new shit going on. Okay. Waiting, blazing skeleton. I wouldn't be standing as close to him, he's all blazing. Waiting deathlock. Waiting eye and blue fire. <laughs> and what is he, what what the hell is he doing? Oh my god, he's like Violating himself on that crystal. Ew! Ew! <laughs> that doesn't look right. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I mean, it does look kind of weird. I would, I would move him or get rid of the crystal, one or the other. All right, report to Clara. Well, that wood took longer. <sighs> At this point, I'm actually getting a little bored. It's just kind of like falling off. Did you enjoy it? It was very cute, but I'm itching to slaughter something now. Okay, yeah. Well then, I have one final quest for you. I'm offering the chance to play out the role of a skirmisher boss. Oh, are you interested? An in boss? Heck yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Great. As the rule of an ancient empire, as the ruler of an ancient empire, you will have help in this encounter. Your followers won't be nearly as powerful as you are, 
but they should. Oh, pardon me. But they should make things a tad easier. Assuming you defeat the heroes, help yourself to whatever loot they would have won. Help yourself to whatever loot they would have won. Okay, that's what you're saying. And thank you, Guthrie, for helping us NPCs. You are most welcome. Now let me at him. Okay, cool. So this is the end. That's good, because I was starting to get a little bored. The, pro the progression just kind of fell off. Alright. Like, you know, thinking about it now, there wasn't any combat whatsoever since... I, I You know, there hasn't really been a lot of combat, which is, you know, that's fine. But... Oh. oh, excuse me. No, this is an action game. Oh, wait, what am I supposed to do? Go away, you stupid yellow fucking text so I can actually read what's going on. Okay. Begin your epic boss speech. Press B to ramble on about the sacrilege of the invading skirmishers and describe their imminent doom. Oh, this is good. I like this. Oh, and they actually killed the things. That was cool, too. <laughs> Monologue about the demise of the skirmisher heroes complete. Okay. Finish your speech and engage and engage the invaders. Press B to finish your speech and engage the invaders. Okay. You will die! <laughs> Alright, cool. Now I get to defeat him. Cool! <laughs> I like this. Although they're fucking enormous! What's up with that? Oh, no, those are my... They're helping me. Okay, cool. Ill Jenkins. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I get it. Fuck me, man. I'm so, like, distracted by this quest. <laughs> it's like, fight? What? <laughs> There's so much dialogue and, like, story. It's like, fuck me. What am I doing? Alright. Range DPS. Range DPS. L. Jenkins. Melee DPS. Fuck me. I should heal. Oh, I can't take a potion while I'm... Ugh. I forget I can't take a potion on this character while I'm blocking. Oh yeah, my companion died. I forgot to fucking revive him. Shit. I want to make sure I read where that tank is. Left hand. Oh, that's my guy's left hand. Okay, cool. And he's melee DPS. Okay, cool. What race is it? Oh, I didn't see. That was fun. I think the dog quest part could be a little shorter. It's a little boring. And like, I don't know, it could be fiddled with a little bit to make it a little more fun. But uh, the actual things where I'm like being the quest person, you know, like what I just did there where I'm playing the boss, or like uh, the NPC where, you know, they turn into, that was those were pretty fun. This is a bad, I like this. <sighs> It's got a good look to it. Yeah, see, I don't know. You know, things like this, like the boss room, it doesn't need to be, like, super detailed and super cluttered. But, like, intimate areas, I think, need a little more work. Although, I would like to see some stuff in here. Just, like, I don't know. Like a statue here, or, you know, something to flush out this large space. You know, like, maybe, like, a statue flanking either side, or some more pillars in the middle of the room. I don't know. I get that you're trying to kind of keep it open for, like, combat, plus, you know, it's more work. <laughs> good. The blue thing again. I like it. Oh, let's see if this is a note from the DM. I was so proud of this throne room with its mood lighting until I built the other scenarios. I still like it, and thus didn't change the overall construction. But the blasted non-pathing encounters forced me to do... forced me to be more creative with the scenario. Ultimately, it was a good thing, and I hope this quest was as enjoyable for you as it was for me to build it. Yeah, actually it was. I really enjoyed this quest. I thought it, it was very well done. Um, I don't think it's perfect, you know, like, so I don't think I'll give it a five star, but it's definitely a really, really awesome quest. <laughs> it's a really good one. Stupid loot. <laughs> I never get anything worth anything. <laughs> I swear to God, it's like Cryptic is just trying to give us the finger. Alright. Yeah, four stars. But, uh, I'll give you 500 Astral Diamonds as a tip to make it for the four stars. 
<laughs> like, uh, I really do think this is an excellent quest. And I think it has... This, now, this, this is when it gets into, like, less uh, quality and more, like, my personal opinion. Um, with polish, I would love this quest. Like, it would be awesome. Um, you know, with the, with the critiques and stuff that I personally said. But with the things that I pointed out that weren't just, like, my personal opinion in the sense of, like, my personal preference, but were more what I thought would speak to the quality of the quest, it definitely needs those things to be visited, uh, those need to be revisited for it to actually be a five-star quest, which I think it has it in it to be a five-star quest. It was really, really well done. Fun times. Alright, let's see how it ends. Take your place on the throne to leave the instance. <laughs> I, I like the concept, you know, of like, take your place on the throne, like, you know, I'm just gonna reset. But at the same time, I don't like, I really don't like using items as teleporters. I really hate that. That's, that, that's immersion breaking for me. Like, I like realistic, uh, interactions. Well, that was fun. I don't really think I need to uh, do a, a recap or anything. I feel like I was pretty clear in my opinions. But, uh, you know, good luck with the content.